Good morning, my name is Stephen Hale, and this is my introduction to COM 403 for communication theory. Um, I just wanted to take a second and introduce myself. My name is Stephen Hale. I am 27 years old. I live in Riverside, California. I'm married to a beautiful woman named Destiny of three and a half years. And on November 1st, we just brought in our uh, first uh, boy into the world, our first son. His name is Jackson, um, and uh, we have been in uh, new parent mode and newborn mode for the last uh, two and a half months, um, so we don't sleep much, uh, and I am a happy, proud new father. Um, uh, nevertheless, I am persevering and powering through and working on this degree, knocking it out. Um, I am a communication studies major here at Cal Baptist University. I began going to ops classes online um, in May of 2013. This is my sixth school that I have um, gone to uh, uh, over the course of the last nine years. So I'm trying to cram four years of college into ten, I guess. Um, but I'm persever persevering and I'm pr pressing through and I'm hoping to graduate next August with a comm studies major from Cal Baptist. Um, that being said, I don't really know what year I am. I think if I were to do the math, I'm about the beginning of my senior year. Um, but I've got credits that are just all over the place, and um, I'm just now starting my upper division stuff. So I think I'm a, I think I'm a senior. It's about the best I can come up with right now. Um, I am, uh, my current job is I am in the United States Navy. Um, I am active duty military. I just um, came off of a, a three and a half year tour of duty on an aircraft carrier, the USS Carl Vinson down in San Diego, um, where I did three deployments in about two and a half years. So I was out to sea a lot. Um, and now I'm on shore duty and I'm stationed in, uh, at, stationed at the American Forces Network, which is the TV station that we air to the troops. In, at March Air Force Base. Um, I've been in the Navy for five years, a little over five years, um, and I'm going to go to eight and then I'm out. I'm, I'm done after that. Um, my dream job um, is to get out of the Navy um, and being that I'm in the military, I'm originally from San Antonio, Texas, and I am a very, very huge San Antonio Spurs fan. I mean, San Antonio Spurs kind of consume my life outside of my family work and school. I write for their blog. Um, I'm an avid uh, Twitter user for the San Antonio Spurs and for um, I've written for two blogs. I've been published in one um, uh, on a website called uh, projectspurs.com um, and a, my, I'm a main blogger for a website called spursdynasty.com. So my dream job would actually be to be the public relations and marketing executive uh, manager for the San Antonio Spurs. Um, most people have that have about 35 years of public relations experience and they get paid upwards of $800,000 a year to do that job. So dream big, right? Uh, my favorite quote is a Latin quote. It, um, it reads, destitutus ventus uh, remos adhibi. And that means uh, if the wind will not serve, stick to the oars. Um, a lot of times people want their circumstance, um, you know, the, they want the wind, so to speak, in their lives to be the one that powers them through. And I am a big component of sometimes you just got to do it yourself, which is a huge reason as to why I'm still powering through school with a newborn and with a full-time job in the military and et cetera, et cetera. There's a lot going on in my life, but I'm highly um, determined to finish this degree. And the last uh, thing to answer is my favorite place in the world. It was a no-brainer. It was very, very simple. Um, I made this on my second deployment. We made a pit stop in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. And Malaysia was probably the most beautiful place I've ever seen. It was incredible atmosphere. People were great, great food, um, great wine. Um, it's an incredible, incredible place. And I would go back in a heartbeat. And if it weren't for the San Antonio Spurs, I would even consider moving there. But um, so there it is. I look forward to all kinds of awesome challenges throughout this course. And I hope that uh, we all learn. May Blackboard be uh, simple. May the maintenance be low. And may the assignments be short and swift. Cheers.